As passengers of the stricken Carnival Triumph enjoy their first weekend back on solid ground, new video is coming out showing the squalor they endured while stuck at sea. And the first lawsuit has been filed. But as Robin Stickley reports, maritime law means the case may be dead in the water before it ever sees a courtroom. This is how long the food lines are. Video diaries being posted by Triumph cruise passengers today give a clearer picture of the deplorable conditions on board. And we're still going, and we're still going. Lineups the length of the ship for food. Dining in the dark, a tent city on the main deck, floors flooding with sewage, and makeshift toilets. I know that the CEO or whoever made the decisions apologized, but he needs to go into room 7331, shut that door in the darkness, and try to live in there for three minutes and breathe. Three minutes. While many were thankful the nightmare had ended. I'm not angry, I'm just <laughs> so happy to be home, really. Medical officials expect being back on dry land won't be the end of it. Any nausea, vomiting and diarrhea over the next two to three days may be linked back to the exposure to the sewage on this ship. And that's a real worry for children and the elderly. Triumph will sit idle in this shipyard, undergoing repair for the next month, while Carnival is in increasingly choppy waters. The company is under investigation over the fire and power outage, facing at least one lawsuit, and its stock has been hit hard. The lesson here, a tale of buyer beware in the fine print. Getting on board is an agreement to sign off on a list of passenger rights. Most ships, including Triumph, are registered in foreign countries, meaning these floating cities don't fall under North American regulation. This industry is unregulated because they have successfully hidden behind their foreign flags. The CEO's apology was of little consolation to most, but there was gratitude for Carnival staff. It could have gone so wrong had the crew not stepped it up and those guys worked nonstop. Most say they won't soon forget the smell and discomfort. The company's offer of a free cruise as compensation left a lot of passengers feeling seasick. Never again, never with Carnival, never again. Robin Stickley, Global News, Washington.